One man tossed eternally into the wilderness. He will have to battle and beat some of RuneScape's toughest monsters in order to supply and upgrade his weaponry and armor. All of this while being able to be attacked by any other player at any given time. But who? Who would take on such a fearsome challenge? I present... Wildernator! Previously, with Wildernator, we sent a whole load of kills up at the Revenant Pyre Fiends where we amassed a whopping 40 mil loot and bag after fending off several attempts on our life. We did a huge amount of Wilderness Slayer which led to some unusual skilling methods but ultimately got us to level 90. And finally, we took on the team being called some nasty names in LMS to purchase something that made us look like a Teletubby. Hello guys and welcome to Season 2 Episode 12 of the Wilderness Only Iron Man series. To get this episode out alongside other commitments that I've had, I've really had to put in the time and getting up at 5am, I know, poor me to edit and things like that. So if you could leave me a premature like, I would really, really appreciate that. You can claim a full refund at the end of the episode if you're not satisfied with your purchase. Likes are non-refundable, should you choose to revoke your like, I'll have to send out the headies to have your recaps. As I'm sure you're all aware, on the 25th of January, the new Wilderness Rework boss comes out. So I'd like to do two things in this video. The first being a little bit of housekeeping, and you'll see what that entails, and the second being a revenant grind. So first things first, we're just going to sort of go through our bank a little bit. I'll explain a little bit about the bank. It's going to be fairly nippy, and what we need to collect. We're just dra dragging through now. First thing we come to is the 24,000 tuners. That's going to be a lot of cooking XP banked. We've also got some potions and just some miscellaneous stuff at the bottom of this tab. The next tab is really where it's all about. I mean, we've got 1.15 bill, which is pretty crazy. We've got two pets, Vetion and Scorpio. We've got all those emblems. Chain Mace, Sarum and Scepter. We're hoping to get the crossbow back at some point, which, uh, yeah, might tie into the plans for this episode. We've got the Halo in the last episode. We've got the Dagon High. We've got loads more Larry Keys to open. We've got the Odium and Malediction Ward. We can also make some extra wards. We've got loads of Dragon items, loads of Rune items. In fact, a side goal of mine, pretty um, pointless, but I'd like to collect a 1,000 Rune Sets. Why? I don't know. Just seems kind of fun to have in the bank. And we're getting really close, actually. 230 Rune Pickaxes. You can see some gems there. Obviously, we got the 80 Crafting at the end of the last episode, so they've dwindled quite a lot, so most of those are cut. We've got a lot of smithing supplies. We've actually got quite a decent smithing level banked as well. We've got a whole load of rune ores there. And then this is just sort of the range tab that we've amassed. I mean, a lot of this stuff is it is fairly basic stuff, but you've got to realise we amassed all of this in the wilderness. Um, pretty crazy. Really nice herb lore tab there. We killed, I previously had a rune light tracker of 85,000 Chaos Druids. This is what we used to AFK. Um, I've since wiped that. But uh, yeah, that's a hell of a lot of Chaos Druids. And just a load of miscellaneous stuff down at the bottom. The second thing we want to achieve is working on getting the crossbow back we lost. Okay, yes, fine. Crawls bows back we lost. Before the rework, this seems like the best use of my time, and I'm sure the crossbow will be best in slot somewhere. With it being such a rare drop, it's unlikely. However, even if we don't land it, we're going to be getting FL, which will be really useful to power our chain base. And who knows, they may even make the Theramon Scepter useful there. Kicking things off with a humble 1 million totem. Got ourselves a cheeky little lamp that trip. We're going to still be popping on Hunter, which is going to bring us to level 22. Those eager-eyed folk among you may have noticed that we're using melee. Well, we've never actually used melee at Revenants. We've just always done it with range. We've got over 40 million range XP. Another reason I wanted to do the Revenants, other than hunting the crossbow and the avarice and all of the ether, is because it gives us melee XP. And obviously getting as close to max melees before the bosses come out is going to be really beneficial. All of that being said and done, here is 96 strength. Slammed our way through our first 1,000 Reven Evan Evanence, And here is the lootations from the first 1,000. We haven't died in those 1k kills. The Hobgoblins is actually pretty cushy, to be honest with you. We've made a few escapes, but you've seen that a million times, so I just thought I'd show you the loot. Ooh, that's a naughty little emblem coming in. That's going to be a full Millington. Not too shabby at all. And with a quick quitch of the whip, that's going to be level 95 defence. We've been grinding away at these revenants, I'm sure to you guys it is just a mere moment as we haven't had many clips worth of action or any massive drops, but this is what we're going to be looking at at 2k hobgoblin kills. We're going to take a little break from the old revenants as there's a few bits I'd like to tidy up before the introduction of the updated wilderness bosses. Gonna get a hell yeah! We have got 49 Laranial Keys. I want to bust these open as now we have 90 Slayer, I'd like to collect them from 90 to 99 without using any. And these are the ones that we had left over from the Grind to 90 Slayer.
<laughs> no way. You always go on the last key like, oh, suspense, hope to get some in, and then it's just like pure essence. But no, we actually got the Dagon High pieces. As you can see, we got two Dagon High pieces and 49 keys. I do very much apologise to those looking for their first set that's gone a little bit dry. This is how the Dagon High is looking on the collection log. It's nice to see some spares there because I do have a habit of making Dagon High go Dagon by. Something else I've wanted to complete for some time is the Elder Jurid robes. We haven't been able to get the final piece of Slayer like I'd have hoped. So it's time to take things in our own hands and actively hunt it down. But first, we're going to get ourselves a herb sack. Why we've killed so many Chaos Jurids and not got the herb sack, I don't know. If anything, you guys are as much to blame as me. Because somebody's only just picked up one of the comments now. So uh, yeah, we'll all take a little bit of partial blame in this and pretend that it never happened, shall we? It's an Elder Chaos piece. Unfortunately, it's yet another hood, so we continue to hunt that skirt. You know when you finally get that drop and the collection log pops up and gives the viewers a bit of dopamine, you see the drop on the ground, and everyone's like, woo, woo, they got the drop. Yeah, no, lost it. <laughs> yeah, don't know how. Absolutely no idea. Been searching for it, can't find it. Gone. But that's how the chaos completed. Something we've slowly been working on, and when I say slowly, I really do mean slowly. The first clip in this is 70 free fishing. I recorded this on the 7th of February of last year. So nearly a year ago. 74 fishing seems to have gone missing. We no longer have that clip. Then again, I can't find a clip from yesterday. So I think I've done well to keep any of these. Fishing is a bit of a silly grind on this account. It maxes out about 15k XP per hour. We only have access to shrimp and anchovies. Yep, a level one skilling method. Welcome back to the modern day where we are about to get ourselves level 80 fishing. Now, Dark Crab's are level 85 fishing, I hear you cry. However, we got a little sneaky sneaker up our sleeve. We can get a plus 5 boost, how can you do that? We can get that from the Admiral Pie, how can you get the Admiral Pie? I can get that from Scorpio, I've already killed a lot of Scorpio, so I've already got a lot of Admiral Pie. And if you're paying any attention to the Season 2 video or to any of our end screens, you know at 85 we can unlock the lobster pot. So what I'm basically saying is... I've more or less get 85 now because I can get the lobster pot and I can technically fish a dark crab. So I think we're going to go do that. Capiche? Anyway, there's 80 fishing. We just need to munch this tasty admiral pie to boost the fishing to the desired level. And then we catch our dark crab. One eternity later. Well, there you are, Mr. Dark Crab. You took your time to get in my little pot. But first ever... Raw, a dark crab acquired on the account. We recently finished off a Odium Shard piece that we needed to be able to make both another Odium and Malediction Ward. Let's get these pieces thrown into the volcano. Now there is actually a good reason for us doing this, which you're about to see, if I can actually find the bit where we forge it to throw him in. There we go, to a brand new shields. And that is that I don't believe we've actually bought a ward ornament kit before, so we're going to go ahead and buy a couple of those for each of the shields. The reason I hadn't upgraded our original ones is I can't really... Oh, it's a collection of... I can't really make my mind up whether I prefer the original or the upgraded version. I really do think that the originals have slightly more of a nostalgic feeling and they sort of match the original obsidian shield. But we're going to try them both on. You guys can give me your thoughts. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know what it is about them. I just feel like they look a little bit new school. Although I don't really like that term so I don't mind that. But I just like the way the old ones look. You might notice we only spent pretty much all of our points in the last episode. We've already regained a lot of them. I've been quite enjoying LMS and I thought it'd be a really nice way to be able to get some supplies for the new wilderness bosses. So we're not lacking. So we can just go straight in and give them bosh. And it's just a nice way for me to warm up. If you guys sort of want to get your fingers moving or want to learn a little bit about PKN, LMS is a nice way just to get warmed up. We got ourselves 96 attack, which is going to be the final melee stat before the rework. We also managed to slip in another 1k kill, so on screen is the loot from that. That will be the final amount of Revenant kills that we do in this episode now, because it is Monday, which means in two days the rework is happening. No lock on the crawls, it was a bit of a long shot, but I do have access to other ranged weapons, as well as the Vigoras and the Theramon Scepter, so I'm sure that's going to be plenty sufficient enough to be getting ourselves some nice kills. Despite not getting lucky with the crossbows and those 3000 revenants, we did get a lot of bracelets of Ethereum that we're going to be able to crush up and get Ephethrum, and that's going to power our wilderness weapons. By the time we'd finished with our whole load of bracelets, added to the Ether that we already had, we actually had over 70k Ether, so that should last us for a little while, and it's going to be really, really useful to match with the other supplies. On screen is the goals, the Elder Chaos is now finished. 
We got the upgrades to the wards that we also previously finished. We unlocked the lobster pot and in general our supplies are looking pretty nice for Wednesday's update. If you haven't seen my latest community post please do check it out as this will be one of two episodes and then we'll be moving on to season three. Season three will have some restrictions lifted to be able to create more content. If you can think of anything that I should have on the goals list please do let me know because I'll be creating a new intro, new graphics and final goals for this world series and things like that. If you wish to join these absolute legends, YouTube members is a nice way to support the channel. But a big thank you to Air, k k k k of course it's Mr Pancakes, ELUW2, 202 mil, Mr Ian Beatty, Jacob Brooks and Carsten. Thank you all very much for watching and until next time, have a great week and goodbye.